Well, hello my lovelies and welcome to what's first sit down and talk to the camera video of 2018. In my last vlog, which was on Sunday, I asked you guys if you wanted to see this kind of like best and worst purchases of 2017. Is it too late? I mean, I know 2017 was only like a month ago, but I still wasn't sure if it's a little bit too late or not. So you guys kindly let me know that you would love to see it, which is why I decided to film it for you. I'm traveling tomorrow morning to New York, so everything is a little bit like here and there and everywhere. I've got like my natural baby hair, like yes, this is my natural hair. I don't know what you guys think about it. Let me know in the comments below. Should I wear it more kind of like glam and stuff? styled and shiny or more like this messy. I'm really in two minds. Like sometimes I love this better and the other times it's all about the messy hair like this one right now. Without talking too much I'm gonna go straight into what you guys came here to see today and, and those are my best and worst purchases of 2017 so let's start now. Let's start on the happy note. Talk about one of the best purchases of 2017. My Prada Cahier a bag in green color. I got this one during Milan Fashion Week in February, so almost exactly a year ago and considering I've had it for a year, I can definitely say it's one of the best purchases of 2017. I won this one a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot and not just that but still whenever I see this bag I think how pretty it is. I was in Selfridges the other day and I even looked at the red one but then I don't really like buying too many things that are the same but in different colors However, this bag is so pretty and so beautiful that I was like, wow, it could be nice even to have it in another color. I just love, obviously, it opens like this, and inside it doesn't fit too much, but it's kind of enough. Like, it would fit my sunglasses, external battery charger, phone, card holder, and a lip gloss, so it's kind of enough. You can wear it crossbody, and the shoulder strap is really beautiful. I just love Prada. Um, Kakir bag, I think they're doing really great with the shoes as well and this definitely made it to the top list. My second best off would have to be another accessory, and I'm talking about this ginormous Gucci belt. Now, I know for a lot of you, you might think this is so excessive, the logo is too huge, it's just like really, really in your face, but I think like Gucci's been doing a lot of these things, and this belt is my absolute favorite for several reasons. Now, you can actually wear this belt over a coat or on a dress, on a skirt, so it's really great because it can, if you wear it like over like a super plain coat, it can totally make your outfit amazing, like the whole look can just be like wow 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 wow. And I don't know, like I know it's super in your face, but I really like that it's a thick belt and it's super hard to get hold of, so I haven't seen this much a lot, this one around a lot. I also have to say that I also got this one in Milan. I mean, I don't know what to say, but I think Milan might be lucky for me and for purchases. Um, next item that I absolutely love and that I think was a great purchase is also from Gucci, and I'm talking about... I'm talking about a pair of sneakers. It was the first pair of sneakers that I bought. I don't wear trainer sneakers, kind of like casual footwear, really. I think I own around five pairs of sneakers, and now they are the ones that I really, really, really wear a lot, but... The thing is, I don't actually overall wear a lot of trainers or find a lot of trainers pretty. So these Gucci ones are just beautiful, they're embroidered, they look like this, as you guys can see. They're a little bit dirty, so excuse that, but I actually um, have a really great dry cleaning place for my shoes as well. So I bring them like usually weekly, and these are yet to be cleaned, so sorry about that. Um, yeah, I really really love these. I think they're just so comfortable, so versatile, they look great with dresses, great with like casual looks or dressy looks and that's what's so amazing about them. They're amazing for traveling and I would purchase them again for sure. I even commented uh, saying like why has no one ever told me how comfortable trainers are and some people got that really seriously but it was a joke obviously just because I don't wear um, trainers and these kind of shoes a lot. I kind of thought it would be funny, but it really wasn't, like, yeah. Anyway, love these shoes so much, so it was definitely one of the best purchases of 2017. Now, I'm sure that some will argue that the next item is a bit of a cheat because I've only had it since October. But if I tell you that I already feel like I wore it so much and, like, it's one of the best purchases ever, would you believe me? You have to, because you've seen it a lot on Instagram and Insta stories, etc. And I'm talking about my Balenciaga, I guess this would be called Aviator Jacket. It's a huge, really heavy um, shirling jacket in brown and kind of like light beige 
Sherling. I honestly, you guys, I don't wear much dark color. I definitely stay away from black and dark brown. Those are not my colors. I don't think they suit me. And well, at least not in general, not in like fashion sense. I sometimes wear darker colors in the evenings, but not so much like day to day. So when I bought this, I was like, I love this jacket so much, but am I gonna wear it a lot? And oh wow, I literally wore it, wore it whole of October, whole of November, whole of December, whole of January. I brought it home to Serbia, I wore it so much, and not just that, but for traveling, oh mm, my god, when I wear this, put this thing up, and I put it in the window, and I just sleep, and I feel like I'm a chicken wrap. Like, literally, I feel like a wrap. It's so cozy. It's just like traveling in a duvet. And that's what I often say about this jacket. I love it so much and it just makes an outfit complete. It's it's like the best jacket ever. So for the item number five, I was kind of in few minds. I wanted to mention my girlfriend denim because throughout the whole of 2017, I worn my girlfriend jeans a lot. So much that I honestly, like, I could... I could link 10 pairs that I wore, like that's that's all I wore when it comes to jeans, mainly wore girlfriend denim, I think they're just amazing and definitely would deserve to be involved here, but then I had to mention another bag that I just think was such a great purchase and I'm so 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 happy I got it. I'm talking about my grey Fendi Can I bag with this blue shoulder strap. Now I couldn't have gotten the combination better. I feel like the combination is just perfect. I got this one around April, May time. The shoulder strap is just, it really, really, really makes the out, like bag complete and then every outfit on top of it. And the bag color is just so easy. So, so, so easy. Like I pack it in my bags, fits so much. I pack it in my suitcases and it works with every outfit works with most of my like shoes in general it's kind of a day bag i don't really wear it in the evenings but i just love it so much and it kind of made me completely completely fall in love with fendi on another level i think this bag just really really reminded me like how much i love the brand and how much it's worth it I could also mention my grey Fendi coat, which I wore a lot. I'm gonna try and link below some like extra bits that I think like they definitely would deserve to be mentioned. If I did like top 10, they would definitely be involved and I just couldn't, if I had to pick five, I just couldn't not mention this one. So now we get to a little bit awkward part of this all, I guess. I guess we have to talk about the not so great purchases. I have to be very honest with you, I don't make a lot of bad purchases in general, not to sound braggy, but, and not that I don't think about, like, okay, so, I do often tend to see something and I'm like, I need this, and I buy it, and it wasn't like, oh, I was thinking about this purchase for months, but when I see an item, and even if I like it, I immediately know if I'm gonna wear it or not, so sometimes I, I don't know, like, I see this, and I'm like, oh, this is really pretty, it's a hair tie, oh, it's very hairy, it's a hair tie, and I'm like, oh, but... It's really pretty, but I'm never gonna wear it. It's not gonna work with my wardrobe or it's not really my style like a vetmon. You know, vetmon is just like, I see some items and I'm like, this is an amazing raincoat, but this is not me. So it's not gonna work and I'm not gonna buy it, end of story. However, I see some things like a Chanel bag and I'm like, oh my God, I love this. I have to have it, I'd buy it. It's like an impulse buy, but it works because I love it and I knew I was gonna wear it. So it doesn't often happen that I make these kind of mistakes usually happens with online buying <laughs> but to tell you the truth these things were wrong for different reasons now I'm gonna start with a dress that I recently showed you and it is from I think this is for love and lemons if I'm not mistaken it's like a black mini dress I'm gonna try and insert which video I showed it to you guys and I wasn't sure if I should keep it or not but because I got it from the US I was like I'm not gonna return it just because like I already paid custom fees on it so this dress is amazing it fits really well it's just beautiful made the lace is beautiful the front is like really pretty it looks like this is cleavage even though there's like this beige kind of thing in between but the problem with it is I'm pretty tall well I'm not pretty tall but I'm like tall ish so when I wear it it's really really short and maybe I need to lose some backside weight or fat so that it wouldn't <laughs> take so much space and it wouldn't be so short but it's just at the moment a little bit too short for me so I don't really feel comfortable wearing it that's basically 
the situation. Next up, I'm sure you're all interested to find out what was the bag that I thought is not so great of a purchase. And with much regret, I have to say it was this Gucci love bag. I only wore it once or twice throughout 2017 and I got it in March. The reason why it wasn't the best purchase is I don't really know, like it's not like that it, I, I wouldn't want to get rid of it, I just haven't actually been picking it up much from the shelf and that's probably because I have a lot of pink bags. So in the same year I got the Louis Vuitton Twist, I also got the Dolce & Gabbana family bag quite recently before, I got quite a few pink bags, um, I have a new Dior pink bag, so you know, for that reason this beautiful Gucci Bloom locker bag just didn't get enough wears. Um, saw his little baby. I'm definitely gonna try and give it a lot more push in the spring but I guess it was just one of those things that I saw and it wasn't too expensive to be honest but it was just something that I wish I wore more. It fits a decent amount of stuff. It's also annoying because it doesn't actually like if you place it on the flat surface for some reason it doesn't stay. Other than that I love this bag. I wish I wore it more and it's funny how Gucci made it to my absolute faves and also like not so faves because I just haven't worn this one a lot I guess. Next item is a coat that I also got quite recently and I wouldn't say this was a bad purchase, it was kind of like a sale buy, I also got it in the US, paid custom charges, didn't want to return it. It was a fairly expensive coat, it was I think around 600 mark if I'm not wrong. The thing with it is I like it, the only problem why I don't think it was the best purchase even though I've worn it a lot is that I could have found like a Zara alternative. So in terms of that, I think that I could have bought one in H&M or Zara or somewhere on High Street and I would have paid a lot less money, would look exactly the same and in that sense it wasn't the best, the smartest purchase. I'm talking about my Elizabeth and James coat. It's really really cute, it's cozy. I like this color, I think it suits me because I'm a brunette. And I did wear it a lot. I wore it in Switzerland. I did I bring it to Serbia? I can't quite remember. I think I did. I like it. It's just that again, I could have worn it a bit more. The good side, good thing about it is it goes with a lot of my Louis Vuitton stuff. It kind of like complements the monogram print a lot, and it's just like a beautiful coat. However, slightly overpriced for what you get essentially. Let's talk shoes. There's always one pair of shoes in my kind of worst purchases as well. These were really hard to admit that it wasn't the best purchase, but then I kind of fixed it by buying another pair of the same shoe, except that they were in a slightly better color. Now, I got these Chloe Susanna boots sometimes in also like April, I think. I think it was April. So the summer came, I didn't really wear them that much. I got them actually after Coachella, so that for sure I know. The color is beautiful, it's like this blush pink color. Mm, they are getting quite dirty as you can see and damaged because the heel is like rubbing here So yeah, I would have hoped that they would stay in better um, Better better. What is the word? Condition considering how much you pay for them. They cost around 900 I think and Still, I'm not gonna get rid of them because I feel like I might get a lot of wear from them in April, May, like Coachella time, I'm going to LA this summer and I think these are like perfect LA shoes but then I got them in like this perfect suede caramel color exclusive to my Teresa that I just think are a dream and I'm wearing those a lot more. These are a little bit behind but we'll see how the situation um, develops. I might wear them more later on, however for now they're definitely one of the kind of like boo, not the best purchases. Just realized I brought only four things from the worst so I had to get up because I knew exactly what I will show you. And funnily enough it's from Gucci. I think I know why Gucci is usually my best or worst. It's because if you think about it, the items are so in your face, they aren't really like classics, so you pay a lot of money and sometimes you get something that you just don't wear enough, or you know what I mean, sometimes you just really really get an item which is like a hero. So as much as I love these and as much as every time I wear them I get so many compliments, there is a reason why I think the purchase wasn't the best. Got these around birthday time as well, like March, yeah definitely, I already had them 1st of April because I remember I wore them when I traveled to Finland and I'm talking about these black Gucci um, jeans with a snake print. They're really cool. 
again, I don't wear black, so for me to wear these, it means like I wear them in like kind of like private occasions when I'm not gonna really, really be taking pictures and stuff like that. However, the reason why I don't like them is they're extremely long, so I have to put them up by this much. Like I roll them up or whatever, I wear them in boots, so it's usually fine. But why did I buy them in March and I still haven't brought them to Taylor? I don't understand. It must have not ever been a priority for me and that must mean that they're not a favorite. Now I really wish I had taken them to the Taylor and made them like super short, kind of like ankle height because I love the ankle height jeans. And then I would have worn them with like sandals, with like super cute mules and I could really make them work. But I've never done that so far and for me it's a waste because of the length they haven't been worn as much and I really really need to change that so I think I think normally I get these chopped up by myself but I'm not gonna chop off jeans that cost as much as Gucci jeans if you know what I mean so yeah love them and I'm a snake in Chinese horoscope so I quite love the snake however haven't worn them as much as I should have considering how much they cost Though I probably would wear them a lot more if they were in denim version. Hmm. Anyway, that would be it, you guys, for my best and worst purchases of 2017. Please let me know what was your one best and one worst purchase of the last year. I would love to film more sit-down videos traveling to New York tomorrow, but let me know everything you would like to see. I'm going to New York, London, Milan and Paris. Dushan is with me, so we're gonna have a blast. Let me know what you want to see and I'm gonna start filming now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!